There are a lot of rumors out there about bees, especially killer bees. Keep watching to test your knowledge about killer bees and their cousins. First up, all bees sting. Is this fact or fiction? This is actually fiction. All species of bees have the ability to sting, but only females or girls can sting. That's because only they have stingers. Stingers are modified ovipositors. Ovipositors help females lay eggs. Modified means it has changed over time. So now it helps them deliver a painful sting when they need to defend their colony. All honeybees are killer bees. Fact or fiction? This too is fiction. The term killer bee is a common reference to the African honeybee. The type of bees we're used to in the US and most places in the world are European honeybees, which have been carefully chosen over hundreds of years for their productive and relatively gentle nature. African honeybees are from Africa and tend to be more aggressive. We believe this is an evolutionary response to the types of natural predators they encounter there. While neither is indigenous to the U.S., European honeybees can be found all over and are encouraged to thrive for their pollination efforts and honey production. But African honeybees are considered an invasive subspecies and are only found in parts of the southwestern states and South Florida. You can tell African honeybees, or AHBs, from European honeybees, or EHBs, just by looking. Fact or fiction? Fiction again. While African honeybees are a smidge larger, it's not something we can tell just by looking. Genetic tests are typically run to determine if a bee or colony of bees is African or European. African honeybees have a deadly venom. Fact or fiction? Fact. Sort of. There really isn't a difference between European and African honeybee venoms. The difference is in the number of times you are likely to get stung by each. While European honeybees typically only send out a couple dozen bees to protect the colony, African honeybees will send several hundred or even several thousand. That many stings can overwhelm your body's immune response, and that is what causes death. Killer bees will chase you. Fact or fiction? This one is true. African honeybees have been known to chase animals they perceive to be a threat to their colony up to 400 yards. That's four football fields. Jumping into water is the best way to hide if I'm being chased by killer bees. Fact or fiction. This is fiction. In fact, it may be the worst thing you can do because these bees are very persistent and are known to hang around and wait for you to resurface. They are also attracted to dark spots like eyes, nostrils, and open mouths. And what's the first thing you're going to do when you come up for air? Open your mouth and gulp it in. Sadly, this can result in getting a mouthful of bees too. The best thing to do is to protect your face and run as fast as you can in a straight line to shelter. Whether it's a car, a shed, a house, or any place the bees can't get to you. Just make sure it's a safe place that you can wait them out. If it's too hot and you can't get cool, that could be dangerous too. Being attacked by killer bees means certain death. Fact or fiction? Fiction. In fact, most people survive African honeybee attacks. They're able to get to safety and avoid the high number of stings that would cause death. However, if you're allergic to bees, or even if you're not and you start to feel lightheaded or have trouble breathing, 
You need to call 911 immediately. Do not delay. Killer bees attack animals. Fact or fiction? This is a fact. Many animals accidentally stumble upon African honeybee colonies. And if they're tied up or enclosed in a stall, coop, kennel, or corral that they can't get out of on their own, that's when they are likely to be stung many, many times. So it's important to look out for bee colonies periodically where we keep our pets and livestock. And for our final question, all wild honeybee colonies should be destroyed in case they are killer bees. Fact or fiction? This is actually fiction. Honeybee populations have been declining worldwide in recent years, and it's estimated that as much as one third of the food we eat depends directly on bees and their efforts to pollinate. Since you can't tell if a wild or feral colony of bees is European or African, the best thing to do is call a pest control operator who is experienced in moving bees, or in Florida, we can call registered beekeepers who are willing to move the bees for us. They have special equipment that keeps them and the bees safe, and they also have experience that helps them know if the bee colony is especially aggressive or not, and the skills to deal with them either way. So whether you're scared by or fascinated with the honeybee, caution is always recommended when dealing with these insects. Even in your own hives, you never know what's around the corner. Thank you for joining us for this educational opportunity provided by Florida 4-H.